seconds, we'll be configuring the main engines. We'll be going the, doing putting the engine through a steering check. Or put them in start position. See them now going through a gimbal check or a steering check, a steering test. oxygen vent arm with beanie cap. Showing no constraints to launch. T minus one minute and counting. steering check of the solid rocket booster commands is being performed, turning off the SRP joint heaters, closing the liquid oxygen and LH2 fill and drain valves, coming up on the handoff to Endeavour, T minus 31 seconds, the handoff has occurred. Sound suppression water system is armed. Rain safety systems armed. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of Endeavour, going where east and west do meet at the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Houston Endeavour, roll program. Roger, roll Endeavour. Endeavour is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. The Florida coast gets an early sunrise as Endeavour heads out on a course to intercept the International Space Station in a day and a half. systems in good 
grid shape as are the electricity producing fuel cells. Staging the burnout of these twin solid rocket boosters at two minutes five seconds. SRB separation confirmed. The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out and any of the dispersions introduced at booster separation. Endeavour is 50 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 200,000 feet or 38 miles, traveling 3,900 miles per hour. Endeavour, two engines Zaragoza. Two engines Zaragoza. Three good main engines, but Endeavour can reach Zaragoza in Spain in the event of a single engine failure. Time three minutes into the flight. Endeavour is traveling 4,300 miles per hour, 82 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 48 miles.